In final preparation for Matt's complete transformation from ordinary to extraordinary, I need him to break free from the fears that stop him becoming the man he could be. And to ensure that I feel Matt is ready for this challenge, we're going to meet with him in a normal waking state for the first time since the auditions for the game show. Hello. How are you? How's, um, how's life? The biggest obstacle we all face in life is fear. Courage is not the absence of fear, it's the mastery of it. Have you ever tried a straight jacket on? Um, no, I haven't. No. Never. Don't put your hands through there. <laughs> Houdini was iconic because his escapes represented overcoming fear at the time of the Great Depression. It was a powerful metaphor. I used to play this game where I used to live. There were these train tracks, and you very rarely get any trains coming at that time, so it was so late. And I used to go and lay on the tracks. It was just such a liberating thing to do, just laying there, knowing that you shouldn't be there, knowing that it was dangerous. I need Matt to feel that he can master his own fear. Yeah, I want you to experience this because it's such a you're, you're absolutely safe on this for the moment so but uh, come and come and stand here yeah, if you okay I've got you there you go mind your head on that So what's that like? Feels really weird. Yeah? It goes against all your senses, really. Just slid, slid. Well, I'm somewhere where, where, where I really shouldn't be. Well, uh, I hate to interrupt you, but we will have the 543 heading down any minute, so you probably... Any minute. Yeah, you'll probably hear it coming before anyone sees it, so you, you probably want to think about getting out. Have you ever done this before? <laughs> Never. I've never laid on a truck before. No, I suppose not. Well, I've got the instructions. Uh, I mean, these are Davenport's instructions. They're a bit tricky to read through. So before you do anything, examine your straight jacket thoroughly. Make sure it's put on properly. Put on with the opening to the rear. Have the back straps. You got to these. Yeah. So you want to reach back behind your back. Uh, with either arm, and there should be a, uh, a buckle on the back. There are four buckles on the back. You want to try and reach one of them on the back and undo it. It's a bit tricky because it'll be back to front, but... You got it? No, I can't leave the train. And there's a train going. This will help, Craner. Uh, what's been done? Let me square your shoulders. Did, did you square your shoulders when we put it on? I don't even know. <laughs> You probably want to hurry up. Can you not just? Can you not get it? I can't reach it. Oh no! Can you try the other side. Go around the other way. I want to keep my arm there. Did you ever see the film? Uh, what's it called? Strangers on the Train. Have you seen it? Oh, you haven't seen it. Classic Hitchcock's fantastic. It's one of his five best. It's a proper tale of suspense. Can you, you can go scrub the? I can't. Roll it. I can't reach it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I almost can't reach it. Into it. All right, well, try, try, can you sort of grab, grab the one underneath? Oh. Can you grab the one underneath? No, no there's no way I can reach that. Yeah, you probably want to... There's no way I can reach that one. OK, left arm, try that. Sit up, pull it out, over your head, pull it arm out. That's it, up over your head. Keep going, keep going. That's right, grab the straps. Grab the straps, one. Yeah, look, 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 look,
But that's all starting to change. Can you call it in the place? Who knows?